Hi, I'm Katherine Bedard Thomas. And I'm Kristen Rich. We're both pediatric psychologists here at Cincinnati Children's. Today we're going to talk about pediatric solid organ transplant and how it can impact coping and mental health before, during, and after transplant. Here at Cincinnati Children's, solid organ transplant includes liver, heart, lung, kidney, and intestinal transplants. With transplant comes a significant amount of medical monitoring and lifelong adherence requirements that are needed to prolong the health of you and your new organ. Because of this, some patients struggle with anxiety, sadness, medication adherence, or even the expectations set forth by the medical team. At Cincinnati Children's, we offer our transplant families a well-rounded psychosocial team of psychologists, social workers, child life specialists, pastoral care, and school intervention specialists. During your pre-transplant evaluation, a psychologist will meet with you and your family to establish a relationship and learn about your unique situation. They can also help you process your experience and aid in the communication with your medical team to help clarify information. It's important to note that your feelings, concerns, and questions may change over time and with experience. Over the course of your transplant journey, there will likely be ups and downs. For example, you might experience tearfulness or excessive worry, fear about coming to the hospital or having a medical procedure, irritability, withdrawal from preferred activities, poor sleep, not wanting to be away from home or your family, safety concerns, or concerns about your development. These are all issues we can help you with should they come up for you. Your transplant team will be regularly checking in with you to see if you are experiencing any of these symptoms or behaviors and help determine how best to provide support. We want you to know that you can feel safe with us and we encourage you to please be open and honest with your team when discussing these issues. If needed, the support of a psychologist is available both if you are admitted to the hospital or outside of the hospital. Additionally, if needed, we can assist with locating a cognitive behavioral or family therapist or even medication management provider closer to your home. Thanks for watching. If you'd like more assistance with accessing mental health resources, please talk to your transplant coordinator, physician, or social worker.